Привет, друзья! Как дела? My name is Fedor, and today you will learn how people live in Russia. We have two different types of people who live in the city center and those who live on the outskirts of the city. And along with the cultural video, you're gonna learn a lot of new words today. But before we get there, guys, if you want to finally learn how to communicate with Bolivian Russian, join our BeFluent camp. We have maybe like about three days left, maybe one day left. I'm not sure when this video is going to be up, but we are filling up. If you see the link underneath, that means that it's still available. Camp is still available for you to sign up. So if you want to finally learn how to communicate with in Russian, join up and don't miss out. Because if you wait, we're starting on June 27th and you will miss out. All right, let's get to it. So in Russia, as I said, people live in the apartments and in their private homes. So right here to your right is called квартиры, квартиры, which means apartments. And for you to say that I live in an apartment, you say я живу в квартире. Я живу в квартире means I live in an apartment. Typically, those квартиры or apartments are five-story homes, typically, because back in, in USSR years, it used to be built in five or maybe nine uh, stories each. But now we have a lot of new and private and commercial buildings that are maybe 15 to 20, 25 floors each. And today you'll learn more about that and about how apartments are structured. So the first thing, each apartment has things called подъезд, which is like an entrance. So each apartment typically has multiple of them. This one has one, two, three, four of them. And in each entrance, there is a certain number of apartments. So let's say in this one right here, as you can see, apartments from 16 to 30. So it's only 15 apartments in each. All right. And typically, if you want to enter the place, you call your person. So let's say it's apartment number 17. Uh, and this one is working. Okay. 17. Any call? We're not gonna call right now because we don't know who lives there. And you typically enter the подъезд and you go to your apartment. And a phrase for you is Я живу во втором подъезде. I live in the second entrance, in the second, uh, you know, doorway. Я живу во втором подъезде. And typically in a city center, people don't have cars. Or maybe it's like one car per apartment. As you can see right here behind uh, is парковка, which is, which is a um, parking. And as you can see, it's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine cars, maybe 15 cars total in this, in this parking, but it's 60 apartments in this building. So 15 cars per 60 apartments, every one car for four apartments. So it's not many apartments here because people typically travel by car and by, and by other means of transportation. Okay. У меня нету машины. I don't have a car. That's how you say that you don't have a car. У меня нету машины. Or you can say, у меня у папы есть машина. My dad has a car. And also, cars are typically stored in things called garage, like, like in English. And in Russian, it's гаражи. Right there, to my right, is гаражи. So these right here is гаражи. Okay. One of each is one garage. All right. And you can say, я в гараже, I'm in a garage. And typically you can buy these for not so expensive for you to store your car here. Maybe your some home appliances, some storage space right here. And typically we have a lot of these next to the квартиры, next to the apartments. Because people in apartments don't have a lot of space. All right. And so they store a lot of their stuff in the garage. For example, you can say, я отнесу это в гараж. I will move it to the garage and around this is maybe like nine or ten garages so yeah back to podiest okay uh, another word for podiest is padik okay it's like a slang word for, for podiest so again as i said you can call your, your person but if you have a key like this you just put it right here and it's open so we come in we come in and then over here we have apartments we have different entrances so as you can see there's one apartment right here one right here. So if you live in apartments and you live in whatever подъезд uh, and you live on the third floor, я живу на третьем этаже, typically you have to walk up the stairs because in these small apartments it's only five floors. It's not a lot of space for elevators in the first place. So you have to walk up the stairs. Тебе нужно идти по лестнице. And typically on the, on the second flight of stairs you have these mailboxes right here. This is mailboxes. So the postman comes puts the mail in whatever apartment it is. Then I get the key, take it out and take my mail. Now let's walk up onto this uh, floor right here. So on this floor, this is the second floor, второй этаж, we have three apartments right here. As you can see, they're all on one little, you know, platform right here. You can enter to each door and yeah, 
that's about it for the apartments. Now let's go to the private homes and, and see how people live in the private homes. Мы приехали в частные дома. We got to the private houses. So we got here, as you can see, it's all houses behind me. It's typically two stories. Each, each house is typically two stories because people build it up themselves and one story is just not enough of space. And like anywhere else, when you have a private home, you have a territory next to it. Um, in Russian, we call it двор or we call it agarot. Agarot is like the garden. So anything that's attached to your house is, is your land and you have your uh, garage and everything of that sort. So for example, this right here, those doors are garage, okay? Garage. All right, so now let's go to the agarot, which is the garden in, in, in Russian and show you guys how it's done. Right behind me is agarot. Uh, some phrase with agarot could be мне нужно полить огород. I have to water the garden. And right here is what's called бочка. And бочка, typically, you have water here, right? And the reason why we have this is because under the sun is going to get hot. And typically, the water that's in the, in the pipes is cold. So you cannot water your plants with cold water. Нельзя поливать холодной водой. You cannot water with cold water. Because you have these... That's why you have these, uh, you know, бочка uh, for you to get some water and, and, and water your plants. Right there is кошки, cats. Uh, also, we can call them домашние животные, pets. Okay, as you can see, they're all, all outside and walking around. And right here we have some flowers, some, some other, uh, you know, nature and some other plants here. But right now it's beginning of June, so it's not a lot of uh, ripe, you know, vegetables. And so when, when the time comes, you have your own vegetables, you know, ripe and, and, and are ready to go. Uh, for example, you can say очень вкусные свежие овощи, very tasty, uh, fresh, fresh vegetables. Кошка хочет в кадр. And over there we have the outhouse. So every, almost every private home in Russia, at least the, the ones that I've been to, have the outhouse. So it's like the outside toilet because back in the day, only recently, Russian homes got the the piping system to them. It used to be that there would there be no toilets in the house. So this is called уличный туалет, уличный туалет, which means the street or outside, um, you know, restroom or, or bathroom. And how people used to shower back when there was no piping system is they would take banyas every week or twice a week. They would make a banya and, and, and go in the banya to, to wash themselves and to, uh, to shower like that. So, but that's it for today, guys. I hope you got something good from, from this video, from this topic too. And I'm gonna see you guys in the camp. So sign up, it's the first link in the, in the description and it's right under me. So if you wanna communicate and learn how to speak Russian well, join our Be Flowing Camp or watch this next video.